Hello, thank you for joining this quick getting started video brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we are going to learn how to log in and create your first workspace in Social Studio. Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need super user or full user permissions to perform this function. If you do not have super user or full user permissions, and you are required to create a workspace, please contact a super user within your Social Studio tenant to assist with access. First, you'll need to access socialstudio.radian6.com, then log in with your user credentials. Please keep in mind that these credentials are unique to the Social Studio platform. If this is your first time logging in, you'll see the Get Started with Social Studio screen. From here, we will click Create Workspace. You'll enter a workspace name. Depending on how you are structuring your organization, you may want to name it after a brand, a region, or department. Aside from this, you'll have the option to add a workspace description and a workspace photo. All three items can be changed in the future. For the image, if it is under 5 megabytes in size, you can use any picture or graphic of any format. The image is automatically downsized to 260 pixels by 260 pixels. Now that we have entered a name for the workspace, a description, and uploaded a photo, we will click Next. In the Social Accounts screen, you will have the ability to connect a new social account or add a social account that has already been connected to your Social Studio tenant. For now, we will click Next, but be sure to check out our other videos on how to connect each social media platform to Social Studio. On the Topic Profile screen, you can apply topic profiles that you have created for your Social Studio tenant. As this is a new setup, we do not have any present, but we will show you how to create topic profiles in another video. Let's click Next and carry forward to the next steps. On the Workspace Members page, you can add user accounts that have been set up for your Social Studio tenant to be members of the Workspace. At this time, you can see we have two, George Finnamore, which is my account, and Sarah's Tutorial, another administrator within our system. For now, we will click Next and carry on to the next steps, but be sure to check out our video on User and Workspace Permissions for a deeper look into Workspace Member Administration. And now, we have the Summary screen providing you with a quick look of what you have assigned to your workspace users, social accounts, topic profiles, and basic workspace settings. To finalize this, click Finish. And there we go. It's that simple to create a workspace within Social Studio. On a final note, if you wish to create a workspace and you already have one present, simply click Social Studio at the top left. You can do this from Publish, Engage, or the Analyze tab. This will bring you to your list of workspaces. Click create workspace to start the process. From here, I recommend reviewing the video description for other useful videos and links to documentation on the topics covered in this video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal, where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation, trails, or you can contact support. Happy trailblazing!